hello guys this is biology geek and in this video we will be talking about membrane transport and what are the ways through which uh, solute particles or substances can be transported through the membrane so without any further delay let's uh, begin this video as we know that the lipid bilayer that is present in the membrane if we can draw the lipid bilayer here As we know this lipid bilayer will allow the passage of oxygen or carbon dioxide freely through the membrane. These oxygen carbon dioxide molecules can be freely transported through the membrane. There will be no issue in their transport. But if we want to transport a glucose molecule, if we want to transport a glucose molecule, then this molecule is kind of big for the transportation through the membrane. So this glucose molecule will not be able to transport through this uh, lipid bilayer. For these uh, molecular transports in which the solute particles or substances are little bit larger, so for them there are special kind of proteins that are used for their transport. And in this uh, lecture we will uh, talk about these kinds of larger uh, protein channels through which these molecules are transported. So basically there are three types of channels uh, through in the plasma membrane or any kind of membrane through which the uh, uh, materials or larger particles are transferred. So the first among them is pumps, second is carrier, And the third is channel. We'll discuss each of them one by one so that you can get a difference between them. So the first is a pump. Before uh, going into these pumps, carriers and uh, channels, let's first discuss what an uphill movement and a downhill movement is. If we see the example of climbing a mountain, climbing a hill, if we climb up a hill, there will be a lot of energy that will be required for us to climb. If this is a hill and a person has to climb up a hill, there will be a lot of energy that will be consumed. And if the same person has to go down the hill, it will be a free fall and there won't be any kind of energy required. So this can be, uh, this uh, example can be applicable to this um, concept as well. If there is a membrane and here the concentration of solute is large and here the concentration of solute is less. So there is a concentration gradient from here to here. If the movement of this particle has to go from here to here, from A side to B side, there won't be any kind of energy that will be required. So this movement will be a downhill movement. This movement in which there is no energy required and the movement is down a concentration gradient. This movement is known as downhill movement. While if the movement will be from B to A, from low concentration to high concentration, then this will be an uphill movement because there will be a lot of energy that will be required. The first movement will be a passive movement, passive transport and the second movement will be an active transport in which there will be energy required. So I hope the concept of uphill movement and downhill movement is clear. So let's jump to what a pump is. So a uh, pump is a kind of protein channel that is present in a membrane if I'm drawing a kind of a membrane, if there is this pump that is established here. So what the pump will do that it will only and only transport the membrane, uh, transport the substance uphill. We just cleared what an uphill movement is. Uphill movement will be from low concentration to high concentration, which will mean from low concentration to high concentration, which will mean using of energy which means it is an active transport which means it is an active transport so in pump there will be uphill movement and in pump usually the solute particles are moved freely there won't be any uh, problem and the pump and the energy that is uh, required and the energy that is utilized it is utilized from ATP molecules.
ए टी पी एडिनोसिन ट्राई फॉस्फेट मॉलिक्यूल और समटाइम्स लाइट ऑल्सो इज द एनर्जी फ्रॉम लाइट इज ऑल्सो यूटिलाइज इन द मूवमेंट ऑफ दीज आयस अप हिल सो दिस इज बेसिकली वॉट एंड पाम्प इज इट मूव द सल्यूट पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दिस इज दिस इज द ओनली अमंग द थ्री मेमरी एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट गोज दैट एस्टैब्लिशेज द पम्प विच टेक्स द सल्यूट पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू हाई रेस्ट ऑफ द टू रेस्ट द टू अकर ऑनली ऑन ए डाउन हिल मोमेंट दे ऑनली टेक द सल्यूट पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एज वी विल सी नाउ If we talk about channels, uh, channels are basically uh, the particular tra- protein transport membrane that are present in the plasma membrane, which freely allow the particles to move from high concentration to low concentration only. From if here the amount of substance is this much, and here the amount of substance is this much, the movement will only occur in this way. The o- movement can never occur this way. the movement will only occur from high concentration to low concentration therefore this is a downhill movement there will be no energy required it will be a passive movement there will be no energy required so the channels here can be of two ways let's first write it will be a downhill movement no energy required no energy required and the channels can be of two ways gated channels and pores or porins gated channels or porins or pores what they do is that gated channels have a gate here and when the impulse will be created that the gates have to be open so that the movement can occur then only these gates will be opened otherwise these gates will be completely closed but the porins or pores are always open they always allow the substances to move from high concentration to low concentration this is basically what a channel is now if we talk about the carrier these carriers are uh, somehow the membrane proteins transport membrane proteins that are present between the membrane which allow the substances to move also in a downhill direction downhill direction but the movement is little bit slow as compared to the channel here the movement is little bit slow because the uh, transport membrane that is present because of the transport membrane that is present present here it opens first and takes the solute first in then it closes on the other side then the solute particle goes down and is transported to the other side and it will only occur from high concentration to lower concentration only there will be no energy required at this point so what it basically does if we see this membrane will be like this position at the first at the beginning it will hold the solute particles here then this membrane will change its shape and will become like this and will transport this solute to the other side of the membrane so this is not a complete open pa- 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 passage way through which a solute will directly enter first the solute will enter in the upper part then this will they will change the, these protein transport will change the shape and will transport the um, solute particle to the other side now the channels can uh, carry the transport in through three ways these channels can carry the transportation process through three ways they are uniport symport and antiport uniport symport and antiport uniport transport is simply the transport process that i showed you earlier in which a single molecule will be transferred from high concentration to lower concentration through the transport membrane but what in symport does that if this is a membrane and here there is a transport uh, channel there is a carrier and for a a particle there is high concentration here a particle b particle b particle a particle for a substance through in the this side there is higher concentration and in this side there is lower concentration for a particle there is lower concentration. for b particle this side there is high concentration this side there is low concentration so if we go by the logic by the rule 
A will uh, transfer from here to here and B will transfer from here to here and B will transfer from here to here but what happens is but what happens is that A will transfer from here to here through this A will transfer from here to here and the energy that is released as we know if a, a substance is transported through a passive process if a substance is transported through a passive process there is an amount of energy that is released and the amount of energy that is released will be used for the movement of B from here to here therefore we can say for A there is a downhill movement and for B there is an uphill movement and the energy that is utilized and the energy that is used to move the B from lower concentration to higher concentration is acquired from the movement of A from higher concentration to lower concentration. The downhill movement of A uh, produces the energy which is used to move B from here to here. I hope the concepts are clear. I hope both all the three movements are clear. The pump, the carrier and the channel. So the slowest, the slowest process will be in pump and the fastest will be through channel and the intermediate will be through carrier. Slowest is through pump because it's a lot of energy that is required and the pump just takes the substances from lower concentration to higher concentration which requires a lot of energy and takes a lot of time. The channel is the fastest and the carrier is the somewhere in between. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe for more such content.